T-minus three minutes and counting. Final aero surface checks of the orbiter's wing elevons and rudder are being completed. This verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. Looking at the main engines being gimbaled for a final test before launch. Everything is looking good for launch tonight. This is the first nighttime shuttle launch in over four years. All systems on board Discovery are operating with no problems reported. And we are completing the purge of the shuttle's main engines. Everything continues to look good with Discovery. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells, coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed of a thousand miles an hour, altitude of one mile, downrange of four and a half miles from the Space Station already. Three good engines startling back to two thirds of the rate of thrust. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. The external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go and throttle up. Go and throttle up. All systems remain in go for Discovery. Altitude 8 miles. Speed 1700 miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. That now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines. Three good auxiliary power units. We good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds.